What's up, Redemption Peoria? This is Pastor Aaron coming to you once again through this little video screen here and uh, trying to give you a moment on social media to kind of just pause and to let me just encourage you as a pastor. I hope that you know that I'm praying for you. I know that what I can do from this place that God has put me in is pray. And believe me, I don't say I'm just praying for you because I think prayer is actually really powerful, very powerful. And I know that right now, especially in this congregation with all that is happening, you need to know who you are in Christ. That's a big deal. One of the things that uh, we looked at on Sunday is the legalistic kind of uh, law teachers came to John the Baptist and say, who are you? And kind of popped categories on him. And he took the humble way because he knows who he is. You see, when we try to defend ourselves and kind of build ourselves up, I think it's still us searching for an elevated position is, is us searching for identity. But let it not be for us who are in Christ. Because me and you, brothers and sisters, have a sure identity that has been purchased for us, given to us by our Creator, has been solidified and made eternal because of the Spirit. We, friends, have a sure identity. So let this moment, just my encouragement to you, let it just remind you of your union with Christ. Some of us are facing great insecurities. And we're responding in all kinds of ways. But at a core level, if we don't know our identity, we cannot live into our purpose. So if we're chasing our purpose and it's not flowing out of our identity in Christ, it's going to be an exhausting chase because you're trying to find yourself rather than working from who you are and who he's made you to be. John 1.12 actually reminds you that you're a child of God. John 15.15 15 shows his, Jesus talks to his disciples and says, as my disciple, you're no longer just disciples, you're friends. Romans 5.1 declares, I am justified, justified, I'm declared righteous. 1 Corinthians 6.17 says, I'm united with the Lord and I am one with him by the Spirit. I have been bought with a price. I belong to God. I'm a member of, of Christ's body. I've been chosen and adopted by God into his family. I'm redeemed. I'm forgiven of all sin. I am complete in Christ. I'm not lacking anything. I am complete in Christ and I have direct access to the throne of grace through Jesus. That's what Hebrews 4.14 says. Because of that, because I am abiding in that vine, the true vine, I get to be a channel of the life of Christ coming from that vine. I'm a branch. I've been chosen to bear fruit, much fruit. I am a temple of the Holy Spirit, a minister of reconciliation. Church, not only do we have a new identity as accepted and secure? We have a significant work that God has called us to do. And let me tell you this, Peoria, he's not done with us. He's not. He who began a good work will be faithful to complete it. And because he's our good gardener, he may be pruning some things, but he's pruning because he wants to bring about more fruit. He's cutting off branches that not bearing fruit and he wants to bring about more fruit. So here's what we've got to trust. We've got to trust that this good gardener is at work. Our identity is secure. We're accepted. 
we have a very significant work that he has for us to do. Listen, I don't know how we can continue to spin our wheels unless we as brothers and sisters take moments to remind each other of who we are in Christ, our union with him that even brings us together. So I pray this short little video encourages you in who you are in Christ. I hope to see you September 13th. That's this Sunday. Come join us. Make sure to RSVP. If you have questions, let us know. Praying for you, fam. Be encouraged in Christ. Grace and peace.